Welcome back to Binging the Force, your Star Wars watch party. Um, Michael, and uh, we're back here this week to discuss episode five of The Acolyte, uh, titled Night. And uh, with us again, uh, like last week, we've got uh, the brothers. <laughs> we've got uh, Jefferson. Hello. And Jason. Hello. You say we've got um, Jason's brother, Jefferson. Yeah, that, I was going to suggest. Yeah, next week let's have Jason. Let's introduce Jason first. Yeah, Jason's brother, Jefferson. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us again. Uh, we've got the counterpart to last week because last week was Day Episode Four, and now we've got Episode Five, Night. <laughs> we sure do. So I have a quick question for you guys. Did either yeah. of you watch um, The Good Place? That TV series. I watched the first season and then dropped off after the first season. I did, I and just then my put, daughter got obsessed with it, and so I've actually seen it probably all the way through several times. Oh, I just wow. put together mm -hmm. that um, Quamir from this series is uh, Jason from The Good Place. Oh, so. I was wondering about that, about where yeah. I had seen him before, because I was like, mm -hmm. that guy looks super familiar, and he's got Which that character. Kind of Jason, he was the, um, I guess, the, the really the fourth character. He was the the. Um, no, I mean on here. Oh, and here he's Quamir. He's the um, he's the the, big the, 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 um, the Weasley guy. He's, yeah, the Weasley guy. Thank you. Okay, because uh, until we get into the episode, he's the Weasley guy. Sure. Right. Yeah, he was. Uh, yeah, uh, May's sidekick. I guess we could call him. He's got that sure. kind of surfer dialect, and I I knew I heard it somewhere, and I didn't couldn't place it. But thank you. Oh, okay. Now I know. <laughs> Let's put it yeah, that's the thing I didn't know. I didn't know him, but that's the thing I I barely watched the Good Place. So mm -hmm. it's good. Yeah, we I watched it through one time. It is. It was. A, I don't normally like sitcoms that much, but I enjoyed it. I thought it was mm -hmm. it was pretty fun. Gotcha. Yeah, I was telling uh, Jefferson right before we got started that uh, I, as we're taping an hour ago here, uh, the third season of The Bear just dropped, and like I had to quickly try to watch the first episode and get that in before we started recording. That's what I'm doing after. Yeah, I re I rewatched a bunch of episodes earlier today. I rewatched probably like three or four episodes from season two earlier today. I, I just rewatched the the Christmas one, Seven Fishes, right before I, I started watching the the new episode. And yeah, that may be a big chunk of tomorrow <laughs> since they dropped the entire third season. Yeah, I haven't seen oh, it. But enough of uh, non sci fi there. <laughs> yeah, let's let's, uh... let's see any any other geek stuff going on. Um, not really. Not that I can think of. Um, what do you got, Jason? Uh, I can't think of anything big geeky that happened. There weren't really any conventions this weekend. Or usually we get some news out of those and yep. I don't, th I don't think much is going on right now, except for, um, that, you know, uh, Game of Thrones is still going strong. Um, yeah, I'm still holding off. I, I'm trying to see like how long I could hold off and not get massively spoiled to try to wait to binge the whole thing. Yeah. Are you it's talking about the new one? The yeah. 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 I watched, I made it a few episodes into the first season and just, I mean, I couldn't tell the characters apart. It was just one long oh. wig after another. <laughs> And I just yeah, no, I watched the was, whole first season. I, I'm, I'm holding off on the. There's been two episodes so far of the new season, the second season. Stick around yeah, for Matt Smith, though. Yeah, well, I mean, yes, but at the same time, I was just struggling too much to care about anything that was happening. None of the mm. characters appealed to me. It is I really dense. I know I yeah. watched a recap of season one, like on YouTube, and and having seen the first season and then watching the recap, I'm like. Man, that's a, like I watched it and I'm watching the recap. I'm going, that is so incredibly dense and confusing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not really sci fi, but I've been, I was mentioning to Michael, I've been watching the Pacific, the World War II series. Mm -hmm. And that's been kind of fun because the, um, the, the chunk of episodes I'm in right now star um, uh, Joe Mazzullo from uh, the kid. He's little Timmy from Jurassic Park. Mm -hmm. And Rami Malik, so it's half of Queen are wandering around. <laughs> right. <laughs> Interesting. Did you see that the Queen sold uh, their their uh, catalog? It's the no, latest in those announcements. Yeah, it's 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 the latest in that trend of of uh, classic rock stars uh, selling off uh, their catalog to like the big music companies. So I believe they sold it to uh, Sony for a new record, uh, one point five billion dollars or one billion pounds. I I 
think they're smart to do that, to be honest, because I mean, leaving leaving the songs to their their children or their heirs just creates hassle for their children. Yeah, it just it just creates a legal entity, a legal thing for them to have to keep track of, you know, the licensing and keep track of the revenue and stuff like that. This way they get the big chunk, you know, that they can just yeah. manage, you know, and, and and leave to them, you know, leave, leave all that to Sony. The big difference is that's different than a lot of the other ones. Like I think the last one was Bruce Springsteen who sold his catalog for like 500 million like 6 months ago or something. But mm-hmm. um but uh they sold off the rights to the existing music catalog they kept the rights to the live performances interesting yeah so brian may and and any existing members who still like go touring and stuff like that they still own the rights to do that and to make the money off of that and any existing recordings of live performances that's still owned by them that's good you look at the what happens with like the um Sherlock Holmes or J.R.R. Tolkien estates where their families just like have kind of a stranglehold on everything and copyright in America is different than in England and and it just gets so crazy and it seems like a multi-million dollar entity like Sony with a room full of lawyers would be better. Buildings full of lawyers, yeah. (laughs) Better equipped to navigate something like that. Sure. Sure. Well, hopefully well, it won't uh, have any effect on uh, reruns of the Highlander television series. I'll still be able to use the Queen. <laughs> oh, so. good point. Yeah. Well, it does. It does mean that. Yeah, the licensing for that it probably will get tied in with that. So mm-hmm. maybe. <laughs> yeah, there might at at some future point. Yeah, you know, there might be when you try to watch reruns or whatever, it'll be replaced music because I know yeah, that it, happened with uh That's that's why like for twenty five years, WKRP in Cincinnati had like no official release on DVD or reruns or anything like yeah, that because the, the music rights the monkeys are such the a same nightmare. Way. You yeah. can't stream or buy the monkeys anywhere right now. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I know it, it held up the home video release of Heavy Metal. Oh, the, interesting. The animated film forever. I mean, the I monkeys, trying... you can't, you you can't, it's not like you can replace the monkeys with other music. I mean, that's what yeah, they did exactly. with WKRP for, right. for years. And then finally, like now, when they finally released the DVDs, what they had to do is just put in replacement music in a lot of places. And I remember when uh, Weird Weird Science had a strange thing like that, too, because it did use a lot of weird background music, like Roy mm-hmm. Orbison and some stuff like that. They couldn't get the rights for that. So for years, the if it was played on cable, like anytime there was a famous song that they used, they just replaced it with the Weird Science theme song that Oingo Boingo did. Um, mm-hmm. And it was just really out of place every time they did it, sure, but sure. there wasn't anything else they could do. I, said, I, I sense a disturbance in the force. It's as if a million Star Wars fans are out there screaming, get to Star Wars. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get going with the, this week's right. episode. Right. Episode Deep. five. Episode Hopefully, five, Lucasfilm's night. got got a stranglehold on all the Star Wars music. They won't have to. Worry about yeah, that. I'm sure they do. <laughs> well, anyway. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I kind of jumped right in there. <laughs> I was trying right. to get us moved along. <laughs> all right, uh, the flashy helmets, the Star Wars yeah. logo. I think it's kind of interesting that. Although the Star Wars logo does appear at the beginning, like the official titles of these shows, like this is not Star Wars, the Acolyte. This is the sh- title of the show is just the Acolyte. There's no, True. <laughs> no colon in the title. Yeah. I think they learned their wet lesson with the Star Wars story when they were trying to do everything. <laughs> you know, Maybe. Solo, a Star Wars story. You know, it's the same thing that the Glass Onion thing people are doing, and I don't like it. So yeah. we're back in the jungle. This is this the recap, right? Uh, no, I, I skipped the recap, oh, no. so we're, okay. we're, we're right so into we're, it. Yep, yep, so we're right into it. Right yep. in. The recap okay, is so all last, prior to the uh, droids. <laughs> so allow me to recap. Last thing we saw, everybody got knocked over by the arriving... Um, yep. I'm not going to say Sith Lord yet, but the arriving guy in a black helmet with a red lightsaber. I, I got right. I got thoughts on that for later. Oh, well, there are so many, many thoughts, yes, yeah. <laughs> when we get there. But uh, yeah, no, I went ahead and um, depending on what we come up with in the discussion, I've titled this uh, episode Mayhem in the Jungle. <laughs> mm. Yeah, and this, um, for as short an episode as it is, it's only 34 minutes, almost all of which is a prolonged Yeah, it's a very short break. episode, but there's so much lumped into it. Like, we've already just had, we've already got a dead Jedi. <laughs> sure, yeah, and, and, and most for, of the episodes... seconds, we've this... already got a dead Jedi. 
Dead prolonged Jedi. fight scene. It's just fight, fight, yep. fight, fight, fight. And yet there's still a, a fair amount of substance to the episode. But you know <laughs> that's my thing. Is <laughs> we've got lightsaber yeah. fighting, we we've, we've got it's Jedi like battle. Show. We, yeah. We've got we we've got more Jedi action by far than we've ever seen since episode two. Mm-hmm. I think um yeah. Jason, you you did the lightsaber thing at, at uh Disney World, right? I did. You can is yellow an option? Can you get a yellow lightsaber? Mine is yellow. The oh, one I did is yellow. Yeah. Oh, interesting. If I do that, I, I want have, yellow. I would have thought it wouldn't have been an option, yellow, but it would be now. I, you can buy other crystals because there's this thing where you open up and you put your crystal in, and your green crystal makes a green thing, and then my yellow crystal sure. makes it. So you can switch them out. Um okay. which is okay. So that uh the two person slide on the on the thing mm-hmm. on the lightsaber is oh uh, yeah yeah two two in one yeah <laughs> yeah that's i guess that's a move that was in one of the video games i think uh oh. i don't remember which one but everybody it's like one of the most popular moves in one of the video games and so it was a nice little shout out that they brought it in so the that didn't work so yeah. you use the use the stun gun so the stun gun is ineffective on this person sure you know they've not they've not set her up for success in this episode. No, <laughs> giving her nothing. But yeah, the the, the two shooter. two on one lightsaber like I did not know in the video games. I just like okay, that's new. I mean, we've got a lot of new lightsaber moves and a lot it's, of new lightsaber think, action in this episode. Yeah, I think it's battle for me. I don't know. I don't remember which one, but it's something that you can do. But yeah, this this person, you know, this you know, we're not calling them a Sith, or you know, we don't know anything about what's behind the helmet at this point. I mean, it's kicking butt. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, the Jedi familiar. are seeming pretty outclassed here. Yeah, well, and and maybe it's maybe they're just crappy Jedi, but you know, Darth Maul barely hold, held his own against two, and this guy has yeah. taken apart a whole group of them. Yeah. Until we get the soul, and that's a, that's right. the thing. At, 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 up until that point, you know, we had not seen this this uh, being face off directly against Soul, sure. who you know well, is by Jack far the master here. Well, Jacka held her own. That's like yeah. <laughs> it, it does kind of make you wonder, though. Like at this point in the history, those would the Jedi fought. be? Would they be that good at fighting? I mean, who do they have to fight against? Who have they been dueling other than well, each other? All they do is train, you right? Know? And nothing but they train else against so, each other. Uh, no, they are out there. There are several thousand of them out there on hundreds of worlds, protecting things mm. and serving as the as the organ, the basically the uh, the peace force. So, right. So they're out there. They're 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 in mm. action out there. I just wonder they just if maybe they, they, just, they are not fighting someone else with lightsabers. That's that's yeah, the, exactly the, a big distinction. Yeah, you know? that's what I mean. They're they're caught off guard. Maybe. They're yeah, I mean their lightsabers are definitely against blasters and other things. Sure. You know, it's not lightsaber on lightsaber action, other than in training. That's right. That's the big distinction here. So they're they're not used to facing somebody else with a, a lightsaber weapon, who is really 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 good. Yeah, and <laughs> relentless. I think yes. that's the thing about this guy is he just doesn't stop. Yep. And and incredibly adept at the force. Yeah, I like how they're using the subtitles here, just stranger. Just just mm-hmm. you know, we can just yeah. refer to them that way at this point we as stranger. Who he is yet. Yeah, it does say you don't remember me. So so yeah, I sense something familiar. So we don't know why Soul should know the stranger. Right. But there is definitely a difference is, is, you know, the the stranger was definitely better than we don't know what level a lot of the other Jedis were. Probably most of them were knights. Possibly some of them were Padawans. Um, I don't know that there are any other masters other than soul. Right. There's definitely a difference. But they are certainly getting taken apart. But even soul does not know a Sith at that point. I mean, the the red lightsaber doesn't scream Sith. It, no mm-hmm. indication that Soul definitively knows that the word Sith um, just you know says you are you 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 know you use a Jedi's powers you're fighting like a Jedi but you are no Jedi. And we have to keep in mind that in the prequels, Chaoti Mundi, who is in this show, said yeah. that there hasn't been a Sith in a thousand years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's I don't, either they thought about that or they didn't. Well, or we don't know how how yeah. this tale ends yeah. here. <laughs> exactly. There's none maybe none of this gets back to to the council or not any of the to cross to cross uh franchises but i mean 
the entire first two seasons of uh, Discovery were basically erased from Federation history so that, yeah. you know, n- none of what happened in the first two seasons, they were able to get away with continuity errors because they basically said, like, all records of, you know, the, everything that happened in the first two seasons, you know, particularly yeah. having to do with Discovery, were erased from Federation archives. No one knows about it. So, yeah. Sure. And at the end of the day, does it matter that much? I mean, do we really want them to let one little throwaway line of dialogue yeah. dictate how they can tell their story? Yeah. I don't really think that's a throwaway line, though. I mean, that's no. a pretty definitive thing for a Jedi to say there's never been a Sith there for a thousand years. Mm-hmm. That's not a throwaway line. Well, so here, Soul is basically saying that, you know, you immediately gets, you know, okay, you're the one, obviously, who trained May. I mean, if they were really worried about the thousand year line, they could have just added another zero to the prologue for this. <laughs> or or not had Kiyari Mundi in there. Like, yeah. <laughs> but I was mean, it was it Kiyari Mundi who actually said that line? Yeah, it was. That's so, interesting. That that is that, interesting. That's why it's one of those things where I'm like, they either thought about that and something's yeah, yeah. going to happen, or right, they right. didn't, yeah. and they're dumb. Either either no one bothers to tell him or you know about this at the end of the story, or there's a reason that he isn't yeah. saying it, or there's a reason that he isn't specifically acknowledging this event. It could well be that it just never gets back to him. I think uh, it's so as dark. we see this the only thing episode I don't like. unfold, I don't, we're going really to see how likely how I, that is. But how can an, an event like this not go up the flagpole? Sure. You know, <laughs> well, everybody. I mean, I'm... I'm not sure how many survivors are left at this point in the episode, but it's not very many. Yeah, no, I think at this point we're down to three of the existing but, Jedi that came on this and, mission. So yeah, right, but and, Sol, um, Sol knows, and Sol's sure, going to have to tell. Yeah, we've got three more episodes, and this show yeah. has not been shy about killing sure, people. But no. Sol has to explain himself eventually. He's got yeah, unless he gets. Unless you know, he gets murdered before he gets the chance. That's bear, true. bear in mind, two weeks ago, everyone on this show, at least uh, the show that we're on currently, was convinced that Carrie Ann Moss was going to be the the uh, the Sith here. So yeah. right, exactly. <laughs> we don't we don't know that, where the show is going. <laughs> yeah, I keep liking about the show, and I was thinking about that. This is one thing that I like about the fact that these are all new characters. Yeah. Is that they they can surprise us like that? Uh, other know, they, than Kiati Mundi, no one in the show so far has plot armor. So right, and my <laughs> my feeling on that is that that was just a throwaway gag. That was not mm-hmm. he's not going to be a major character in the next three episodes. I'll be really yeah. surprised if he is. Yeah, I think that was just a fun. They they wanted to put somebody from the prequels in the background, and they thought, well, and yeah, honestly, other other than confirming it in the end credits in the cast, I mean, you know, that could have been any Jedi of sure. that you know, world or that race, you know? Exactly. And they did yeah. kind of pull a Game of Thrones here because they killed off somebody in the very beginning, just like Ned Stark. Mm-hmm. And then we have our red wedding here. Right. You know, <laughs> yeah, good point. Sure do. you know, and like I said before, the yellow tunic is the new red shirt. Yeah, it kind of is. So, so now here, um, you know, here's where you're saying that Jekka does hold her own. And I would say that that's, uh, is it Jekka or Jekki? I, I, I think it's Jekki. Um, yeah. Jackie does hold her own, but I would say that's because she is Soul's, you know, Padawan. Yeah. Diff- oh, and and the one thing we see here that we have not really seen much in live action is is the lightsabers getting destroyed. Is is yeah. the you know the the enemy the the stranger having you know really being adept at both using their helmet and through other means like you know knowing so well how lightsaber combat works is, you know, damaging lightsabers during combat in a way that we have not seen. Sure. Mm-hmm. It's a metal called cortosis. Um, okay. <laughs> it's, it's, and that's what his helmet's made out of. And what oh. it does is it shoots the energy back. So it, it's like a short circuit for the, for the lightsaber or anything. It'll deflect laser blast too. And so if anything hits it, it immediately goes back the other way and it'll short it out. Okay. Um, and that's and so they, he made his helmet out of that, and also apparently it blocks telepathy as well. Yeah, uh-huh. he did, they did mention but, that 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 there's a, that a reason for the yeah, helmet is you can't that, read my thoughts. That metal has been mentioned uh, in external stuff a lot for a lot gotcha. of years, but it's never been on screen before. I was going to say I'm going to take the tack of 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 that's lovely, but if it ain't on the screen. 
Sure. I have to go on what I see. So <laughs> in the in the Thrawn novels, I didn't read them, but I read okay. a synopsis. In the Thrawn novels, there's a big subplot where Anakin gotcha. finds a the it goes to the planet where they make that metal because they were making clone trooper armor out of it. Oh, gotcha. And no one knew why, because it was for Order 66 and whatever. And gotcha. you know, and so when Anakin tried to destroy it, uh it backfired and basically destroyed most of the planet. Gotcha. And he had to deal, live with that. So, so yeah. So, so back to the Jackie, you know, kind of acquitting herself. Well, I think is, 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 you know, the fact that we've got a distinction here. Soul's a really good master and he teaches really good Padawans, you know, yeah. he's, he's a really good teacher. Right. And, and one thing about the, these, this sequence, these scenes that makes that, that shorting out of the lightsabers work mm -hmm. is that there's so many lightsabers in this. Yeah in this action scene well, and essentially normally, i mean yeah, yeah i mean normally when we get the the lightsaber duel in a star wars movie it's two guys or maybe three yeah. mm -hmm. and those are the, and those are the only lightsabers we see so if one yeah. of them goes away that makes the scene kind of boring at that point yeah, well, it's the, by the, far the most lightsaber actions yeah exactly two. and so mm -hmm. having them stop well, working is a i mean cool there's thing the arena see. scene in the prequels episode right but you know this but that scene is out. too big. Yeah, yeah it is. Too yeah, it, it's too, too big. It's too large. It's mm -hmm. this is all close ups. It's, it's in the it's dark, not, so so we're primarily lit by lightsabers. Yeah, <laughs> right. And exactly. That, the Geonosis battle is not lightsaber on lightsaber. It's lightsaber yeah. on battle droids. Yep. True. You know? Right. Exactly. So it's uh, it, it this was a good opportunity to do that to have that yeah. that that be part of the action. So we need yeah. more of. That's what I wanted. Yeah, I mean, this is what I'm here for. I mean, it's Jedi action, you know, <laughs> lightsaber battles, Jedi action. It's it's what I'm into Star Wars for. <laughs> and the we best you can do is a flashlight, of but, you know, we were all <laughs> kids once playing with our flashlights like they were lightsabers. All right. <laughs> the uh, gift wrap tube. So, yeah, I mean, yep. even to this, yeah, having the three lightsabers, three different color lightsabers mm -hmm. all in a battle. It's pretty, and it's, the, the fight scenes are good, too. They're not like a lot of the ones in the films, especially in the prequel films, are a little overdone. I think they're a little too frantic, and these are are and believable. These, Jackie's, Jackie's really, really good, and not yeah. only that, but she actually is the one who manages to oh, get the helmet off of them. Look at that! Yeah, I, I was know, surprised. Yeah, yeah but, she gets the helmet. She gets the helmet mm -hmm. off, and then immediately. Yeah, and see, broke, this is this is what I'm talking about, though. They can play with our expectations because you introduce a character like that. And you don't you expect them to make it to the end. You're watching this going, okay, how is she gonna get out of this? How is she gonna yeah. survive? It doesn't enter into yeah. your head that she's not gonna survive until she so does. I, I did not see this coming. I yeah. I, I honestly, yeah. while watching the episode about three, four minutes earlier, had had the thought, is that where's that guy hanging right now? Like, you know, the that they had not re-encountered that character, like still hanging, you know, from his ankle somewhere. Sure, you know. Yeah. And, you know, like, where where was he? And I just kind of figured that was going to happen at some point, that the battle was going to re-encounter him. And then, whoa, did not see this coming. Right. I mean, I was yeah, also, I was actually thinking that the stranger, like, I was trying to look at, like, any visuals we could get. It's hot, It's tough because it's so dark. But the body shape was definitely very, you know, slimmer build and everything. And uh -huh. I was actually thinking, I mean, with you guys so adamant about it being carry on moss a couple weeks ago you know i was thinking it definitely could be female you know it was definitely a slimmer body profile and but that's the thing is he does have a slimmer body profile and i'm sure that was well, intentional. Yeah. and he brought his guns to the sword fight here <laughs> yeah yeah it, it was a great reveal and it like you're right i didn't see it coming at all but no. when it when it got here it, it makes total it sense. made perfect sense yeah, yeah. that's yeah. the thing is because what we had talked about previously in the uh, you know was me saying like i don't quite get this character like i don't get mm -hmm. how he What's seems he so for? enmeshed in everything with the master but not know who the master is and not know sure. so many of the I details he was, a, he was a helper but not uh force sensitive like he couldn't right. use the force right. but he was exactly still, like you know, a runner. So yeah, it was it was it was a good it, it was a good surprise. They they got yeah. me and they they got me and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about the, know, the other thing about like the today. the battles on this episode is that there is as much kung fu as there is swordplay, yeah. and I love that. 
so the philosophy here is is really what this is all about is is you know him basically saying well he obvi the obvious there the, an acolyte but but that you know he just wants the ability to be a force wielder without jedi interference you know that that you know which was the same argument the, the witches were making is you know why why do i need to submit to the jedi but you when know? was he submitting to the jedi i guess that's something that hasn't been revealed yet yeah you know? we don't know what his backstory he, is so it doesn't <laughs> seem like they were making his life that difficult but the jedi say i can't well but he just said the jedi say i can't exist yeah mm -hmm. he's, he's, he's just calling back out. to no he's calling back to what we saw on uh, may and osha's planet yep, when they were exactly. kids with the Jedi just kind of strutting in yep. and, and telling people how they can and can't use the force. I mean, that's yep. what he's referring to. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. But he's expressing it from his own terms, from his own right, point of view, exactly. you know, was saying it's like, you know, I just want to be able to be, you know, why, why do I need yeah. you to be a force wielder? Yeah. You know? What's the other oh, one I want you to enslave the galaxy. It's all I want to do. Come on. That's yeah. the other one. I, I did not expect your to get, to get off either. I thought yeah. he, would, he would make it. Yeah. Through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was he was probably my favorite character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they've done some shocking stuff. Yeah. Oh, I mean, we literally we're we're now at four so, left. I mean, from from the people who arrived <laughs> on the mission, you know, we're now at Soul, Osha, May, and 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 whatever his name was, I can't remember. Well, it's going to be here. interesting to go back and look at the older episodes and see which of those background characters move to the forefront now. You know, mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. because it, it has to. You know, there's got to be more people. So obviously, the the green bald lady and a couple other people are going to have to come forward. Sure. Mm -hmm. You know, so it'll be interesting to see who that was, like who they peppered throughout the first couple of episodes to bring forward. Well, or we're focusing on our main characters, which is who's yeah, left at right. this point. Mm -hmm. That to me, that seems more likely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That we're just going to. I mean, it's it, definitely it's it's, be... it's it's soul it's soul story. It's May's story. It's it's May and Osha's story. Yeah. You know. In terms of the yes. Jedi souls, the primary yeah. Jedi. And this, so we really, really should be down to these four. And we've only yeah. got three, three episodes to go. And these episodes have been pretty short. Yeah. But it is crazy yeah. that the, he arrived with such a cadre of, of Jedi right. and and he's the only one left. Well, they all they had to die to prove the situation is serious. Right. <laughs> well, yeah. And like I said, he has to explain that to the hires up when he gets back on the ship. You know? And see, I, I don't know that he's gonna yeah. I don't know that he's, he's gonna make right it home. Now I've already seen online complaints about this next moment here from a plot standpoint. <laughs> Let's see which which moment. What are we seeing? Well, it's the Jedi do not attack unarmed. Mm -hmm. Rules, rules, rules. You know, he's he's definitely right. like you know poke poke poking the bear. At, you know, mm -hmm. if you never follow them, you don't have to break them. <laughs> you know, it's like I'm just as good as you. I just don't have to be you. But that you know, and then well, I'll get to that in a second. Yeah, so she said, I love you, Pip, <laughs> which we do love that droid. She turns mm -hmm. it into a flashlight and puts it on his back. And it's like, okay, with all that we've seen him do, he cannot get the flashlight off his back. He's like reaching, reaching, reaching. I'm like, really? Right. <laughs> well, you know, there's always that spot that you can't quite. <laughs> He's got those big beefy arms that are preventing mm -hmm. him from reaching it. Sure. <laughs> now, here's the thing, though. He won't kill him, but he's happy to let the bugs kill him. Sure. You know, like it's the same thing, like in uh, oh, in, the, uh, that, in Batman Begins. Batman Begins. Like, yeah, I'm not, yeah, not going to kill Ra's al Ghul, but I'll I'm let not going to kill you, back. but I don't have to save you. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> so what's up with that? It's the so same. They have thing. this conversation here. It's like, why did he say I? You know, I, I don't have to trust you. We know that there's something he has not revealed about what happened on our planet. Yeah. you know, right. this would be a good moment. You know, <laughs> and and of course, well, then May shows up. It and seems like he's done some evil stuff in his past. Yeah. When so far but, this whole it, show has been about the Jedi's double standard about everything. Right. So yeah. yes. I don't see why that wouldn't continue. And sun finally comes up. <laughs> the yes. longest night ever. <laughs> right. Back in the volume. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, the whole this whole episode was this whole series has been done there, but yeah, it really like I've been saying yeah. it, you can kind of tell a lot of the time when they I dig it. I'm there for it. Doesn't bother me a bit. Yeah, it doesn't bother <laughs> me. But you can, that that establishing shot. You're like, hmm. <laughs> you're not outside. Yeah, I'm not saying it necessarily bothers me. Only that it is. It's a special effect that I notice is a special effect. And if I notice a special effect, it has failed as a special effect. I mean, sure. it's mm -hmm. it's a it's like a 
rear screen projection. You can always kind of see it, but yeah. you got to kind of also suspend your disbelief. Yeah, and, and hope like the hope is that the the action of the story is carrying you along. Yeah, enough that you're not going to take yes. the time to. Yeah, stop I mean that's that's honestly the thing. It's not so much if you see the effect that it failed. It's that if you're sure. caring about that, yeah, you know, then it means that sure. from a story and, and a character standpoint that that it's failed. Jefferson, and for me, being, I'm a I'm a character person, and the sure. characters are compelling to me. So <laughs> Jefferson, being such a fan of old Doctor Who, like that's sure, yeah, I'm used to not bug you at all. No, I'm used to suspending my disbelief. That's not not the issue. So we're yeah. back to what is the essential issue here, which is you know between the two sisters and mm -hmm. back to the same conflict, back to when they were kids. It's like you know, will you choose me? Is you know May's essential issue here with Osha is like you chose the Jedi over me. You know, don't choose them again. You know, here here's your second chance to to redeem yourself. You know, to choose me, choose us. You know? This is back to our central conflict here. Right. And you know, looks na like we're nature gonna... versus nurture is, is, you know, May expects, you know, they are twins that, you know, we would be the, we're, we're the same, you know, but, we're, we're, we're one unit. All we have I, is each other now. I also understand May's point of, well, you did go on and kill crazy rampage, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can't come back from that at the drop right. of your time. Yeah. You know? Right. Yeah. Yeah, well, we know Osha's got an essential thread in her that says, you know, there's a right and a wrong. Mm -hmm. And May does not have that. That's been made mm -hmm. pretty clear, too. Yeah. <laughs> but we know that May does have, we know that there's more that we don't know that is a re that there's a reason why May is as, as angry right. as she is, you know? <laughs> right. Well, they've got three more episodes to tell us what it is. Yep. <laughs> Now the uh, the thing that I and was the, hoping and then, they and then the call back call back to the previous when they were kids is you know she flings her mm -hmm. like she was able to before like you never you never were good at blocking nobody right. nobody can push their buttons like a sibling yep. yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's definitely true and now the old uh, the old twin switcheroo yep yeah I think I think we all kind of saw what was like going on here it was pretty obvious you know mm -hmm. what, what she's doing here. You never could block. But yeah, I mean, when she shows up in the next scene, oh, and then here, you know, with her, what she's about to do with the lightsaber is definitely another yeah. new move that we haven't seen before. Yeah, I mean, and you know what? Cutting your hair with a lightsaber, that is hardcore. That is... Uh, <laughs> it's a cool somebody move. Somebody who's not afraid of anything. So yeah, she's looking at her to try to, you know, it's just, it's just funny that their hair was close enough that that's all she had right. to do, you know? <laughs> Definitely not a lot of differentiation between you know their their looks at that stage of their mm -hmm. lives. Very sure, well, because that's that's mm -hmm. what the the story requires. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and yeah, I mean, like, obviously the moths were not a big deal to him, you know. Now we just saw him take apart a whole volume full of Jedi Knights. Of course, some yeah, giant yeah. moths aren't going to give him any trouble. And back to our uh, squirrel oh, guy. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> little, little badger. He's going to be the hero of the show. Yeah, I do. I, I think he probably is. I mean, yeah. I find I, myself I wondering: Do we know is the sh you know more about the showrunner of this than I do, Michael? Is she, is she British? Do you know? Oh, I don't. I don't know. I because okay. I, I, I think it's yeah, funny. Well, I watched she, Russian Doll, but that's that's all I know. <laughs> yes, so did I. But um, so the little the little badger guy's name Basil, and in mm. in England there was a beloved children's TV character called Basil Brush, who was like a little badger oh, okay. puppet. Who looked a lot like this guy, actually. So gotcha. Nobody in America would would get that, but but a British yeah. somebody who grew up in England would would. Definitely. I mean, there's always been a British influence to Star Wars. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I'm just curious as to whether the the people in charge yeah. of this one in particular are. Or not. Now, I am dubious on the fact that like one, Soul wouldn't pick up if, if for no other thing is that his last moments with Osha was her being really, really insistent on getting the answers to her questions mm -hmm. right at that moment before he got stunned by May. So the fact that she has not picked that back up should have been weird to him, but then go beyond that to say the force, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> that oh, he actually, should, that's a he should know the difference. Right there. That's a pod racer broken down right oh, there. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Michael, um, I have an answer yeah. for you about okay. this. So she's clearly had at least some training from sure. from the the people with the red lightsabers who may or may not be Sith. 
Yeah. Consider that, I mean, how long did Palpatine operate right under the Jedi's noses without sure. them figuring out a thing until it was sure. far too late? But the, but, but, but the Badger knows. I mean, we even yeah. can tell that, like, you he know, knows. He, he, no. he, he knows. Oh, no. <laughs> because when, when she found him, he says, where's your sister? He doesn't mm -hmm. say, where's Osha? Yeah. He, he mm -hmm. knows. That's a good that point. That. He's, oh, you he think Saul knows? So, you think so knows? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I absolutely. I mean, I would like to think that because that makes so much more sense. I really don't yeah. want to ascribe that to Soul that he would be that clueless, you know? Yeah. No, he's shown that there's a reason why he's a master and that there's a difference in being a master than than being, you know, a knight or or an acolyte or a uh, acolyte, a padawan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think when she switched clothes, I think he in that moment he was like, "Well, let's see how this plays out." But it is interesting now that what we've ended up with is is the two masters, you know, switching apprentices. Yeah, and he can heal. That's mm -hmm. new. Yeah. Maybe um, Apprentice Swap will be a new uh, reality show in the <laughs> Star Wars universe. Yeah, what an interesting character. I mean, do you think we're going to get his backstory? Because I really, really, really want his backstory. Um, I mean, I don't know. But, I mean, they keep stringing us along about, you know, what, what happened – with the fire and, and what, what did or didn't soul do, you know, there's a lot that they, they've, they, they're running out of time to, to tell us about. It's true. And like I said about other characters, like I enjoyed Boba Fett way more than when I didn't know anything about him. <laughs> you know, when I didn't know a damn thing about Boba Fett, he was a much more interesting character. So I kind of think, so my take on this kid is that kind of the point of the whole show is that, to use the force, you don't necessarily have to be a Jedi or Sith, and that there's other ways to come about that, you know, to use the force. And I kind of like the idea that this guy is just an emo kid in his basement with a copy of the Anarchist cookbook. You know what I mean? Mm. And he's just figuring this stuff out on his own, which is why he says, you would consider me a Sith because I oh, used to But he doesn't self-identify as but, a Sith. But yeah, he doesn't self-identify as it. And he and I like the idea that he kind of learned, and that's why he's so, like, if he had a master, then there would be a succession. He would, there would be a place to find a pupil, you know? there. I, I feel like there's some kind of, you know... Uh, Interesting. There's there's something in, in to, there would be a society of people to where if you want a pupil, then we can get you a pupil. It's no problem. Well, but they always yeah. said there are that you know that currently there are only ever two that there's a match. Which I've always thought was weird because how do you control yeah. anything with just two people? You know, <laughs> well, like, they weren't controlling anything. <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. Um. So that I I kind of like the idea that he came up with all this on his own in his basement, you know, and he just figured it out. I you know, just assumed he had a master, but I like your idea. I'm intrigued by your idea. I find it interesting. That, that would give more credence to the Kiati Monday thing, too. It's like, well, there hasn't been a Sith in a thousand years. Well, this kid just figured it out on his own. You know? Yeah, he's not so, technically a Sith at all. Yeah. Interesting. I don't, and he doesn't want to be either. He's just like, that's what you would consider me, but I don't consider me that. And I didn't learn it from a Sith. I just learned it on my own. And which is why he wants to go do whatever, because he doesn't want any rules, because the Sith would absolutely have rules for him. Interesting. I, I'm, I'm intrigued by your concept there. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. I'll be curious to see which way they go. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it would make him a more interesting character if he was just, yeah. just figuring this out all on his own. Yeah, yeah I, would, I would much prefer that to see another variation on the, the one master and one apprentice thing that we've already seen plenty of times. We don't really need to be told that story again. And they're kind of beating us over the head with the, you don't have to be a Jedi to use the force. That's the sure. whole purpose of the witches, you know? Mm -hmm. That does seem to be a, a theme that they want to, that's something that the show wants to be about. So, Well, I'm excited. I'm oh, excited by the possibility of openness to the story that, that it's not going to be cut and dry. And I, and that's, mm -hmm. and, it, and I think what we've liked about this whole show so far is that it's, it's not cut and dry. It's, it's yeah. not the same star Wars we've, you know, used to getting which i think is a great thing yeah. mm -hmm. it's been very um uh, morally ambiguous yeah mm -hmm. so it's either Thanks. setting us up for a massive payoff or a massive disappointment we'll uh right I yeah <laughs> get to the end. i mean Hopefully other than end. other than the killing of carrie ann moss i'm pretty happy so far <laughs> it's, i'm not i'm not letting that go i'm still i'm still disappointed by that i still mm -hmm. don't like that Me too. Um, right. that's that's that. mm -hmm. and, and yeah. And I know, 
if we get a, a prequel, then maybe we can have the all Carrie and Moss show, which would be great. <laughs> and same thing about the uh, same thing about the uh, the Wookie. I, you know, I'm, I'm yeah. still disappointed. Well, I, I guess the, what I'm disappointed on is is the level of character death so far. Like everyone we've liked, you know, and it, mm-hmm. that's what that's why you know not to stray franchises again, but it's what turned me off of Walking Dead. Eventually, is like if you keep leaving me no one to care about anymore, why am I still going? Sure. You know? and like I, like, dead, I mean, people... I mean, at this point, other than May, Osha and soul, you don't have anyone left to care about, you know? Sure. Right. I guarantee you that the EU is going to, is going to explode with comic books and books about all those other Jedi. That's all going <laughs> to, that's all going to come flooding in. Sure. But I don't but honestly, I, I... like, like you said, Michael, um, Soul and Osha and May, they are the main characters. They're the ones we should be caring about. Sure. So to, to clear the, the decks to have the story be about them, I think is good. And I think sure. you're gonna I think we're gonna get one more episode with, with Carrie Ann Moss because they still thought, need to they need the, to do a flashback to explain what happened. They haven't yeah, done yeah. that yet, and she was there for that. So true. Yeah. So I guess she would have I, to be bottom, bottom line for me is I, bottom line for me is I still appreciate overall that the story is innovative, the story is original, the story is different, you know? Yeah. I still think that the green lady is going to come Oh, yeah. yeah. She, oh, de- well, definitely. She re- She definitely seemed to yeah. represent the Jedi. She represented the order of the Jedi, the the, oh. the rules. She is the representative representation of the rules. And sure, and rules she's and all over the EU. She's the only character that has been in the books and the comic books and oh, all that kind of leading up to that. So she's kind of too important of a character to just stick in there and then pull her back out, you know? Um, so I think she's going to have more, more to do. I hope she does. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Well, cool. Uh, a lot of stuff in the episode, like I said, it was a very straightforward episode. It's like battle, 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 you yeah. know, yeah. Yeah. philosophy. We did get a lot of kind of the philosophy of the show and stuff going on, big revelations, big deaths. So a lot of stuff, but it's, but we kind of like really covered it as we were going along. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, cool. Um, thank you so much for showing up again, guys. And um, we will reconvene and see where we go from here. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I know. Who's well, thanks. To, um, make sure to uh, watch us on uh, YouTube when we put this out there. Um, like us and subscribe to us on YouTube. And uh, importantly as well, uh, follow us on uh, Binging the Force on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash Binging the Force so that we can stream live on there. Um, the people who watch it live here, you got to watch it um, and actually see the episodes with us. If you're watching this on YouTube, then you're getting to see the stills. If you watch us live on Facebook or on Twitch, then you get to watch the actual episodes with us. So thank you, Jefferson. Thank you, Jason. Happy to be here. We'll see you next time. (laughs) 